So tell me what is Workday, what is the difference between on-premises and cloud, what is the cloud computing, why is it important, what is the advantages of Workday, history of Workday and so on. Okay, so we'll discuss about the introduction of Workday and from onwards our main class will start. Okay, so I'll let you know what are the course I'm going to cover in my training session. So this will see more agenda. Okay. So in our session, so introduction to workday. So I think before coming to workday directly, I don't know how many of you know about this term cloud computing. I have seen that many of you work cloud products. Some are Oracle Fusion and some of you found different ER cloud, sorry, uh, ERP background. So most of you already know what is a cloud computing company, but still I want to know those who don't what really they understand from this cloud computing. So anybody wants to try what is cloud computing actually? Uh, so no worries. In this image, you have a lot of computer, tablet, mobile are connected with the internet. <coughs> right? So clouding actually the practice of using a network of remote server. Host net to store, manage and process data run a local server or a personal computer. Okay. So here actually whatever storing it store whatever you are storing any data it store in some remote server. You okay. are not storing into your local computer. So I can give you a Google Drive. Almost you are using a Google Drive right for storing the data. So what, what actually you are doing in Google Drive? So you are log your G account and then you are storing all your data into the Google Drive. Okay, whether it's a 2 GB, 3 GB, 4 GB, whatever data you have, you store in the Google Drive. And when you want that data, forget your G account and you can take from anywhere. Okay, so you are storing all your data into the remote server. Somewhere a server will be there. It's in US, whether it's in UK or any other location. So somewhere the server will be there and you are storing your data into the server. Now everything will be cloud only. And in 5 to 10 years, everything cloud. Even if you if we talk about Facebook, Facebook is also worked on cloud. You are storing, you are uploading lot of pictures, right? Where are, where you are storing that picture? So that picture will be goes to some server, Facebook server that is stored somewhere in central location. Right? You want to see that picture? You directly log into your Facebook account with user and password, and you can see anywhere. So you are not storing into your local machine. Okay. Good computing actually control. One is that means means an internet and second is computing that means a system or a software. So when you are accessing a system or a software through internet that is called a cloud computer. So we know a lot of cloud products are in the market. So it's about ERP, we have Workday, we have Oracle Fusion, we have Success Factor, we have Salesforce, and so on. So this are a cloud product. Okay, you don't need to exactly. So if we talk about Workday, okay, so we don't need to purchase the software. Okay, just 
and if you want to use want to subscribe with a workday company that's it subscribe means they use it on a rental basis okay i actually those who are familiar with people soft and uh, other sap or ramco to be familiar with this software this we call as a on premises software so in software this is a old software okay this software if any company want to use them so if they have to purchase this software by paying a huge amount okay after purchasing they have to set up an infrastructure on their location infrastructure in the sense they have to set up their own ever own web server they have to install their own database etc okay once all the infrastructure setup is done they have to hire a lot of resources who can manage this all this okay who can manage this application server who can manage this web servers and database and all those things okay if you see the total over cost like cost of the company will be increased like customer has to pay a huge amount for this for all the on premises software so all the headache okay so all this cost of the solution and all the headache the clothing came into picture right in cloud products customer don't have to buy a software first of all okay they just subscribe a software and they so it depends whether on a monthly basis whether on a will be in three months in a period so they have to pay rent on this basis so i think like you are thinking that now in cloud products we don't need infrastructure but no we the infrastructure but we are not doing the setup everything will be managed by that company so if we talk about work day work is set up your application server database and all this thing okay you don't have to worry about all this thing you just have to buy a subscription and use the software and pay the rent that's it everything will be taken care by work day that lot of cloud products are there in the market okay but workday is popular for hcm okay workday hcp is there so those who are familiar with erp so i know because many of you are from the erp background so i don't think so i have to explain what is an erp but still just a definite introduction and erp is a enterprise resource planning okay so they are not like a java people or a c c plus c plus plus people so we are not developing any projects so we are working for the employee of the company so say one company is there let's take an example t okay t s is having 3 lakh employee so we are working for the 3 lakh 3 lakh employee we are not creating any project or we are any coding for all this we are working for that company one good i can give you those who are familiar with erp those who are very new to erp you all salary at the end of month right so for every month you all are in a salary so in a company if 3 lakh employees there so all 3 lakh employee will get a salary at the same time so you all will get a message Credited with just send this amount, right? So who sending and who is creating the salary for all the people? No, so they are manually doing this job. Okay, we have configured this thing, everything in this ERP, that company ERP, so that it will automatically calculate your earnings and deduction. And once it's set, it get a report. We we'll send that report to the bank. bank will load that report to their integration and your salary will be processed okay for example if you are applying for a lease right applying in some portal see every company will use some erp but some company will use people soft some company will use sap 
some company will use workday some company will use oracle fusion it depends on the customer okay so one next example is suppose for example you are applying for leave you are going on vacation and you are applying for leave so app will be credited to your account that is the accrual so two accrual every month you will get a two leave okay so suppose that is total you have 10 casual leave and uh, you are going to apply for five okay. you want to go on vacation and you are going to apply five casual leave, right so you just apply in the portal so automatically your five days deducted from the total that is of 10 and next month when your pay will come nothing will be deducted right you got so it's deducted from the leave but suppose for example if you have 10 leave total and you are applying for 12 leaves okay in case you are applying for two extra days so in that case system will automatically calculate your accrual accrual balance okay after two days so automatically the next month you will get a salary automatically the two days will be deducted from your salary that loss of pay so who is doing all this thing so no one is doing it manually okay everything we will in our erp system so that it will automate the process it will calculate or it will do automatically Okay, this is just a one or two example. Whatever you are doing inside an organization, everything will be managed by an ERP software. Okay, it depends your company is using which software. Okay, some using as I said, PeopleSoft. Some companies using SAP. Some companies using Workday and so on. Okay, this is actually an ERP, right? why cloud that is we have a lot of on premise system so on premise system you can see that some example i have mentioned it here like people soft sap info atlas and so on many on premise popular on premise system are there but already software are very popular in the market and they are performing well then what is the use of cloud like why this cloud concept came so it is simple as i said If they're using a on-premise system, they have to pay a huge amount for the software of all. Okay, to maintain all this web server, application server, database, it's very headache task. Okay, they have to hire. Suppose, for example, they have to hire ten resources, ten people to their company who can manage all this thing. So you see, the overall cost for the company will be increased. Okay, it's actually an old system you can say that, but it is changing very fast. And looking for some new technology, right? And that technology in less price. So if we talk about, okay, so some ten years back we are using some CRT screen television, that big box television, right? So that that is all only that. and the television is very costly but later on like year after year new technology came that is lcd okay so lcd with a new feature and now they are not using the big box like structure okay so it is very thin again later on the concept of led came right every time year after year new technology is coming and you want this technology in less price also you don't to pay a huge technology right so in way we have the on premise software in the market but customer wants a new technology and very easy to use technology they don't want any complex thing okay they want technology which is less expensive easy to use and free of maintenance okay the reason the cloud came in the market so as i for First of all, they are, they don't pay huge amount for the software. Like here, they have to purchase software. But here, customer will not 
purchase a software. Only customer can subscribe. Subject in the sense they just have to pay a rent. Okay, they use a software and they have to pay a rent. So it totally depends on their organized friends. Suppose, for example, if a small company is there, okay, having less than 10,000 employees, so they will pay less amount. Suppose, for example, a medium organization is there, they're having less than 50,000 employees, then they have to pay a little bit more amount. Suppose, for example, a big organization is there, there are more than 1 lakh employees are there. Okay, that case, they have to pay a little more amount in that. But still, the cost is very less as compared to on demand system. Right? Apart from this subscription price, you don't have to pay any other charges. Like infrastructure for web service, for application service, for data installation, everything will be included in that subscription price. Because that thing will be maintained by the workday company. So if it all works, Okay, that thing will be maintained by the work the company. <coughs> right, basic difference between on premises and the cloud. So, if you want to relate with an example, I can relate this. You are using an electricity in your home, right? So, what you are doing? So, you are not producing that electricity in your home and then you are using it. This is producing this electricity. My reliance power. Might be the Tamil Nadu electricity board, might be the Karnataka electricity board. Okay, they are producing electricity and you are consuming the electricity and paying the bill as per the consumption. Right? Same cloud works. Working will be like app or web work, database installation, everything, everything will be, backing will be. Man, workday company, you will use software and a rent. That's it. So same as you just compare with the electricity, that example. Okay, this way actually your cloud works. And you're saying that, uh, Ravi here, uh, yeah. you're saying that the database will be handled by this cloud system. So how secure is the data? I mean, like, uh, so it can be misused by them? I mean, like, uh, the just want to uh, like, uh, by this was data like payroll, right? Yeah, I got your point. So that is uh, that slide is also there. I know actually this question comes in your mind. Uh, the first of all, work is very secure. Okay, they are using uh, a security audit. Okay, ISO 27001, SSA 16, and all this certification is being cleared by the workday. And they just that data is very secure. And this workday says that if all data will be leaked, then we will pay you three times the amount what you are paying during the subscription. Okay, so that info information, backend information is very confidential. Even they are not sharing with anyone, not even with partner, not even with customer. They are saying you just only concentrate on your front end, your front design. Okay, back end, what device you are using, what algorithm they are using, that is highly confidential. They are not sharing this, this details to anyone. And work has already completed some 12, and in this 20 years, any data leak or anything. So Workday will say you don't have to worry about everything. I will take care of about backend things. You just concentrate on the front end. So if you use Google or if you search in anything, now it's not mentioned anywhere like what database even they have used or what algorithm or what application server design, what they have used. So it's not mentioned there because they are not showing to anyone. Okay, that is confidential. So, because of other security audits, if they were time to time, they are just updating the audits, audit reports, and all. Okay, your data is much more secured in our system than in your local machine. 
Okay, 12 years we have not seen anything related to this. Separate team is there inside the workday. So workday is a company actually. So separate team is there who is time to time managing all this security things. Okay, so they are changing the algorithm, changing the audit, they are performing in audits and all this. So we worry about the security thing. That will, that will be taken care by the workday company. So what is that? You just concentrate on the front end. I'll just stop it. Okay, okay, thanks, thanks. Okay, so few moments. So as I said, work is basically for HCM is for human capital management. So two applications are currently available. One is HCM and second is financial. Okay. And subscribe. See, if I use the term you, it's no means that you can directly subscribe with Workday. Only a customer. Customer is only a company. Okay, because ERP software, those who don't know about ERP, so ERP software is used by company, not by you. Okay, so any company like Wipro, TCS, Accenture, Deloitte, I, any big company, they are using this software. So if I use that term you, it means it's a customer. Okay, thank you. So it's very famous for human capital management, but we have one more application that is financial management. Okay, uh, once a customer will subscribe with Workday, they don't have to pay any extra amount for this also. Like it will single application, single if you subscribe, a single application, uh, what is a single environment, a single environment will come with both this application, FCM and financial management. Okay, but they like, you mean they, they will be the same URL, right? That's what you yeah, correct, to. correct, correct. But if you talk about the on-premises system, uh, like we have customer has to pay an extra amount for this. Like if they are using an FCM, but if they want to go for any financial module, they have to pay an extra amount for every module. But in Workday, it's not like that. Once they subscribe, everything will be there in a single URL or single name. You mean all the modules will be coming in the same? Yes. Thing. All the model is coming in the same package. You don't have to pay any extra amount for this. All only a customer can enable and disable. If they are using in their company, they can enable it. If they are not using in the company, they can disable it. But all the applications or modules is available in the single URL or single tenant or environment. You can say that. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is why Workday. So we launched in 2005. So 2017, so only 12 years, but in this 12 years, Workday has gained a lot of popularity. This is not saying, uh, this you can search in Google. So it's built for the cloud and it's a unified finance and HR application. So you don't have to pay any extra amount for this. And the customer which is already using Workday, they have, they have Workday actually. So you can directly see on the Workday site. So if you have time, you just visit the site www.workday.com. Okay, you can see about the modules, applications, and about the customer section rate also. So lot of good feedback are given. So lot of big customers are also there. It's not like that only a small customer. So big customers. And even uh, like in March end, we got a contract for Amazon also. So now Amazon, Amazon Target, Walmart. So I hope those who are in US, so they know about Target and Walmart and Amazon. So this person only March end, the contract has been signed. So this are also coming on the workday platform. Okay, so soon the work is going to start. Implementation work for this customer is going to start. Okay, we have a highest customer satisfaction rate. So if you want to see the feedback, as I said, you just visit the site and you can see what other company have said about Workday. Okay, this is the picture. So left side, that is a Dave Duffy. And right side, that is the Anil Bhushri. So these people are responsible for developing a Workday. Anil Bhushri is actually an Indian guy. Uh, people have developed Workday. And those who already work on People talk. They know. Dave Duffield has also also did that people talk in 97. Okay.
okay but after that they have sold this company or uh, people soft to oracle so right now people soft is with oracle but this is the person who has developed the people soft also okay so this is our work day why actually customer first work day. okay first is the same thing unified suits of application so a lot of module is there like what other ERP has? Okay, we have a talent, we have a payroll. We don't have a global payroll right now. So we have a payroll for U payroll for Canada, payroll for UK, and one more is there. But still we are working on the global payroll. And all these applications is you can like why all this application use in a single tenant. So, customer don't have to pay any extra amount for this. Next, lower total cost of ownership. Okay, so like I said, this is a cloud delivery model. So, there is no hardware, software, middleware or database installation. Okay, there are those who are working on PeopleSoft, they know. If they want to use the PeopleSoft, they have to install a lot of things into their system, people tools and all these things. Okay, but here, you don't have to install any software, hardware, or anything. So you the greatest greatest advantages. You can work from anywhere. You can work from your home also. You can work from office also. If you are in vacation, you can work from there also. Even can work from your mobile also. Okay. The only thing is required for this cloud is a you a browser and an internet connection. That's it. Okay, so you're coming from anywhere. So this is a total lower local cost of ownership. Okay, it's not such a nothing. Everything will be taken care by workday only, workday company. And you will be, whatever you are storing your data, it will be stored in that server only. Right? Next, deployment and faster time to value. Okay, about old system on my system so for any implementation minimum it will take one to 1.5 years for any customer okay thing we have to perform so that I, if we talk about people soft so if you are going to implement for an, any company it takes one to 1.5 years but here in workday it's a rapid deployment if it's a medium or maximum to maximum five to six months. That's it. And customer employee will be come to six months only. If it's a very large customer, then hardly goes to one year. Otherwise, maximum to eight or five, six, eight months, your implementation will be completed. Okay. So rapid deployment and faster time to value. Yes. Fine, please. Uh, suits of application. Yeah. If uh, you are aware of on premises ERP, like PeopleSoft and uh, any other ERP, Ramco and any other thing, in that ERP, like in the market, we have finance, finance application and we have HCM application. Right. So inside this application, we have lot of modules. Suppose, for example, if we talk about an HCM, inside HCM we have a payroll, we have assessment, we have a time tracking, we have a talent, and so on. We have a benefit. Okay, so in on premise system, customer has to pay an extra amount. If suppose, for example, a customer want to use a benefit, customer want to use a payroll, customer want to use a recruitment, all the modules, so they have to pay account when they okay we talk for something that software but in workday here once you subscribe with workday all this application or you can say that all this module will be free of cost okay all this application will be inside that and what is that tenant actually we call it as a tenant i'll tell you why we call it as a tenant so all this application will come inside that tenant and customer 
no need to pay any extra amount for this. Only whatever the subscription fee or rental they are paying, only they have to pay that much. They don't have to pay any extra amount for any model specific. It's a unified source of application which comes with a financial and HR application both. So, can you pay any extra amount? Your team is innovation and adoption. Okay, so upgrade. Upgrade is a part of life. Right? So everyone wants a new feature. So if you if new feature will not come, obviously you will be bored with the software. Right? So talk about WhatsApp. If we talk about Facebook, so time to time some new feature will be coming. Right? So if they are not giving a new feature, you all feel bored and you will stop using that software. Right. Same way in ERP also, they are, they are delivering a new feature. Okay. So, workday, right in version 28. So, when workday started in 2005, so we are getting four upgrades a year. Right. And after some time, it reduced to three. And now it's reduced to two. So now every year we are getting a two new upgrades. So right now we are in version 28, workday version 28, and most probably in September end we will want version 29. So a new feature. Suppose for example version 28 is having a 10 features, and 29 is having 15 features. Okay, so five new features will be there. Update customers don't have to pay any extra amount for the upgrades. So if any come, Workday will automatically deliver that upgrade to the customer tenant or the customer environment. Okay, now don't have to pay any extra amount for this. But if we talk about on-premises system, let's talk about PeopleSoft. So if any new upgrade will come, okay, then again this is for the customer. Customer has to again pay a lot of amount for the upgrade. Okay, again they have to hire a lot of resources. So for the great task, again they have to spend more amount for this. So that is then on system, all the customers are not in a same version level. Okay, some customer are in 9.1, some customer are in 9.2, some customer are in 9.3. Okay, because of this cost. Things customers are in different version, but in workday it's not like that. Okay, so if we are in version 28, all customers throughout the world, okay, in version 28. It's not like that some customers are in version 26, some customers are in version 27, some customers are in version 28. It's not like that. Okay, so all the customers are in same version level and they don't have to pay any extra amount for the new version. So when a new version will come, work will automatically deliver the new feature into their into their environment. Okay, the so time to time there's a continuous innovation will be happy. customer don't have to pay any extra amount for this. Oh, uh, yeah. you know, like if, if the, for a particular client, right? If they want any particular customization in that, so what? Uh, no, for thing, customization is not possible in cloud products. Okay, see, space is very limited. Earlier what's happening, if you are using a people stock, if customer is using a people stock, so they are, uh, can you go on mute? Uh, are using the local data files, right? So there's no limitation on the storage. So they can store any number of data into their database. But right now, the storage is limited. So first, as I said, all the data will be stored in the central server, a remote server. So actually workday, what workday will do, if you subscribe, if you customer subscribe, usually you are taking the space from that server, right? When a big server is there, what is the server actually? Server is the space, right? You are taking some space from that server. Space is very limited. So that's the reason customization is not possible in any of the cloud products. Some of the cloud products they are doing, but little bit, not uh, people soft and uh, SAP. So here you can't do any customization. 
whatever page or whatever thing Workday has delivered, you have to use as a tool. Okay, so you have to. That's why that's the reason maximum thing is configuration only in Workday. So you don't have to learn any coding language or anything. So here maximum thing is configuration. You just have to configure as per the company policy. If you are going. To. Okay, look and feel is good. You don't have to worry, and that's the reason actually customer don't want any complexity. That's the reason very simple to use. So the customer are moving towards the workday cloud. So like one or two, one and two scenarios are there. You can customize it, but very rare. That I will tell you when I take the real session, real class. So that I will tell you where it's possible, but very rare. But as you say, overall we can say that customization is not possible in your case. Okay. Well, next thing is safety. So as I said, all I have, I have told you, Workday has cleared a lot of security audit certification. This is here I've mentioned only a few things, but you can even search in Google somewhere you can get what are the security audits they use. So what is that if that got leaked, they will pay you three times the amount what you have paid during the subscription. And this 12 years, we have not seen any uh, free breach or this kind of thing. Because obviously, uh, if any banking customer is there or if any any confidential, very uh, like uh, information, very critical information thing is there, every customer will think about this. Okay, so they think. But the work they will handle it properly and uh, the information if you search in Google also you will not find what database actually they are using, what algorithm they are using, what they have designed the their servers. So all this information is very confidential. Okay, and any customer, not even any partner knows this information. Okay, so this is that you don't have to worry, you just concentrate on your front end configuration. Whatever happening in back end, work they will take care. So this is the picture what we have discussed till now. So this is just for a unified single application as I said for finance HR. Engage your people. Okay. Right now, now you are not it to desktop only. So you can use your tablet, you can use your mobile, you can use your laptop, you can use your desktop, anything. Okay. So you engage your people. You just have to. Yes. Tell me. I mean, if you, if your people of applications is used like an Android to so let's say like a fluid pages are not used, mm -hmm. so the page will be automatically adjusted. Um, yes. Workday is that? A, no, it's not possible. It's not possible in Workday. Mm -hmm. So it's like in uh, people of we design the our own pages, our own tables, but here it's not possible. So everything will be specific. If we talk about table also, we have table here. But that is a we don't create a new table. Okay, so our specific table is there. Like in people's office, we have a job table, we have a other table. But here, whatever work they have provided, we have to use as a No, my question is like, uh, say, let's say you're using a desktop, right? And we have designed yes. a page, and uh, look and feel of the page would be a yes. big one, big page, right? Yes, correct, so, correct. Uh, in again uh, in tablet if you check the iPhone or anything right yes, so what right, happens the right. width would be the same way and we need to yes. scroll and everything right if you yes, use yes, three yes. pages in people's stuff right that will automatically adjust it uh, so your, your question is very valid actually but in work day uh, like the page will be auto adjusted okay so if you are like if you are opening your work day software or desktop so page will be looking big, okay. But if you are opening in your mobile or a tablet, the page will be auto adjusted, okay. You have to uh, do again the same type of GUI or uh, mobile, okay. So it's auto adjusted. Yeah, yeah. Where is it? The new feature. Yeah, yeah. Page correct, correct, correct. I have yeah. seen in people's talk, so I got your point. But uh, your point is very good question actually. So yeah, uh, right now I don't have an image. But uh, you can see by visiting a Workday site. So just visit a Workday.com site. So there they have opened, they have shown a screenshot there. So they open uh, tablet and desktop and they show how actually 
uh, when you're opening a software in tablet, when you're opening a software in desktop, and how it's look like. The page will be auto adjusted. There, I think a screenshot is there in that website, so you can just visit it and you can see how actually it's look like after auto adjusted. Okay. So, engagement, as I said, next is your max. Maximize security. So 99.9% .9 your data is secure. Workday says that Workday provides protection that traditional software vendors can't. Okay, it's much challenge Workday is giving. Okay. That's why I'm saying this is 12 years we have already passed, but we haven't seen any data leak or any anything in the and okay, so you don't have to worry, whatever your data will be there in the back end that will be managed by Workday and you just concentrate on your front end. So your total attack will be reduced. Earlier you have to think about both, back end and front end both, but now you only concentrate on front end. You don't have to concentrate on back end. One, uh, see, if there are some HR so pay, pay, payroll guys, like HR payroll guys will be working on the data, right? Pulling some reports, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yes. It would be like a direct, Reports are right, uh, like group by can be done at the runtime and everything. All yeah, that. you can then all the things you can, uh, like the business intelligence part, you can perform in the report. So, all group, group by, whatever your filters, prompts, everything you can uh, perform till the runtime. So, okay. that is a part of our course actually. So, when, when I discuss about the integration, so that time we'll discuss everything. What are the tools provided by Workday for integration and uh, uh, what, 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 how can you call out? You, I mean, you, uh, we are, this is breaking. Yeah, this is breaking. Oh, it is working. You get me connect one. Uh, yeah. Just connect one. Yes. Yeah. I mean, everybody is. Uh, so now, now it's okay. It's okay or still breaking? Yes, yeah. good for us, though. It's good for okay. It might be the internet connection. It's raining actually here, so it might be because there. Okay, so we were in this slide. Zero and always be current. Okay, so as I said, in, if we talk about PeopleSoft, why I don't think because I am from PeopleSoft also, so I worked on PeopleSoft in three years. So that's the reason maximum time I'm taking an example of people's talk. So three years I worked in people's talk and then I moved to work there. So the reason I'm comparing with people's talk. So don't be bad actually. It's because what I have analyzed, I'm showing you that experience from you. Okay. Like in this is like for always be current. So as I said, in people's talk, uh, new updates will come. Then customers will pay an extra amount for the upgrade process. Okay, have to hire a resource, again they have to do all upgrade, retrofitting and all these things. Right, so you are in uh, people's office, they know all the retrofits and all this we have to do. But in work day, has to pay any extra amount. Okay, automatically when new version will come, it will deliver to your production tenant or production environment. Right, so now we are in version 28 and September and we will moving on version 29. So in a year, we will get two upgrades. So I will just start as I said, that time we get four upgrades a year, then it's reduced to two, sorry, then it's reduced to three, and now it's reduced to two. Every year, two upgrades will be getting, we will getting, and all the customers are in same upgrade level. So if it has, if it's a Adobe, if it's a non if it's a Sony, if it's a LinkedIn, or smart are in same version level that is version 28. What about the tax updates? Like uh, like for US, like they will they will be changing a uh, monthly rate. So yeah. that will be and yeah, whatever we are doing in uh, like payroll thing, like whatever we are doing in other ERP, the same thing you can perform it here. Okay. Let's model the payroll model. So whatever tax update and uh, like how your you can perform it here, same way. Okay. So this is the beautiful tagline given by Workday. Built for the enterprises, deliver in the cloud. 
Okay, so these are some of the modules. Uh, we have a time tracking, we have a payroll, we have a recruitment, we have a talent, we have a human resource. Similarly, we have a revenue, procurement, and so on. Okay, like I said, you all get in a URL. Customer have to pay any extra charge. If they want to use that, they can use. Otherwise, they will disable the feature. That's it. So, okay. So, as I said, what they was there in 2005. Dave Deffield and Anil Bhus is responsible for developing this. So Deffield also developed PeopleSoft in 1987. And after this, they sold this company to Oracle. So now PeopleSoft is with Oracle. Okay. And they actually met during the brunch for the brunch in 2005. And they want to come up with some cloud yeah, so in 2005 only they have decided to come up with cloud. That time cloud is very new. No one knows about cloud. They have decided. Okay, just a history. So whatever picture you are seeing it here, that is a part of the rising. So whenever new upgrades will come, so in like twice a year. So twice event is organizing by work. Okay, work they will call all the customer and the partner. So they join this event. This is just a two to three days event. So they enjoy and the new features and uh, new in workday. Workday will explain that. Okay, so it's a two to three days event and customer and partner will share their experience and uh, okay, they'll enjoy in this event. So every year it's happening. The workday. So you usually US and uh, Okay, I have seen that. So many places happening actually. So you will get notification. If you are a customer, you will get a notification when it's happening. The workday 12 year journey. So it's 2005, founded by Dave Duffield and Anil Bhuzri. In 2015, workday become a top brand in SCM ERP. So this is not a thing. You just search on Google. So work got a best become a best SCM ERP product in 15. And right now we have, this is an old data, so we have 1,550 plus customer, 1,550 plus customer in the market. It includes your small customer, your medium customer, and your large customer, big customer. Okay, in March and only, we got contact for Amazon, Walmart, Target, and BB. Okay, still a lot of customers there. So day by day or year by year, customer are increasing. Okay. So it's just a 12 year journey because we were completed only 12 years. Okay, some of the industrialists who have their ERP from other ERP to work day. So we have Adobe, we have LinkedIn, we have Johnson Johnson, we have Sony, we have Visa, we have Toyota, we have Rolls Royce. These are some of the lists. If you want to see more, you just visit your workday site. So this workday site, just type in Google www.workday.com and here you can see the thing. Like if you know about workday, you can see this. So you have a customer also. So if you click the customer tab, you can see all customer. Okay, so we have Abbott, we have Amazon, we have Bank of America. So, so many customers there. So you can just load more and more TripAdvisor and all this thing. So this customer are using Workday right now. Okay, customer is there. Page and you can see that. Okay, so this customer are using Workday right now. So it's all customer actually not included here. So all the big customers, a big company can say that all the companies are listed. Okay, so you have page and you can see the customer list. You have to load more and more. Okay. This is some of the customer list I have added. Now, we'll discuss about the tenants, like how the software looks like. So this is how our workday software will look like. Okay, that is said, you need to install any software or hardware. You only need a URL. User and password, that's it. And then 
Okay, you have to type the URL and you have to use it. Okay, so this is called a tenant or if we call it as an environment or an instance. So know what is an environment. So we your customer data access. So this is a software for work. So we call it tenant. Right. So an instance of work service. So we work maintains five types of tenants. For production tenant, so you all know what is a production tenant, where customer real data exists. Okay, in other, as I said, in other ERP, we call it as an environment or an instance, but in workday, we call it as a tenant. Why we call it as a tenant? Because, as I said, customer is paying a rent for this, and when one is paying a rent, we call it as a tenant. So, if you are staying in some flat. If you are staying in an apartment, if you are staying in some flat, you are every month you are paying a rent to your owner. So you are a tenant. I think this software you are using as a service. That's why you call it as a software as a service. Okay, not going to install the software. You just use the software as a service. And you are rent. It depends whether you have to pay in monthly basis. Uh, basis, annually basis, whatever. Okay, Workday maintains five type of tenants. First one is your production, where your customer data exists, real data exists. Second tenant is your sandbox tenant. Sandbox tenant is a copy of production. Right? Whatever the sandbox is having, it's just a copy of production. Okay, if you want to perform any development work, any configuration work, or any testing work, you can perform on sandbox. Okay. Work will copy data from production to sandbox every Friday. Every day, 6 p.m. PST to 6 a.m. PST, your tenant will be down, not yours, for all over the world, for all customers. So there's no work. Uh, well, then it's uh, evening, Friday evening to Saturday morning. And if you are in India, then it's Saturday morning to Saturday evening. So there's no work on Saturday. Okay, because every week work day is doing a refresh. Refresh in the sense, work is copying the data from one tenant to other tenant. Like production to send work. So every week. So this like a recurrence thing. So every Friday it happens. Okay. So, this is the second type of tenant work they maintain. Third tenant is sandbox preview. So, sandbox preview is also a copy of production. It's a copy of production. But when a new feature comes, so, for example, right now we are in version 28. So, when the version 29 will come, work delivers the new feature first in sandbox preview. And it will tell the customer, please review the new, new feature. So once customer review the new feature, then Workday will move the new features to production. So they won't directly move the new features to production. First, they will deliver in sandbox preview. Then customer will open the new feature. And once customer review, then Workday will move the new feature to production. Okay. Suppose, for example, if we are getting Next one, version 29 on September end, suppose for example. Okay, getting a version 29 on September end, then one month before you will get a new feature in Sandbox Preview. Then in September starting, you will get a new feature in Sandbox Preview. Okay, so once time actually work they will give for the month to review the new feature and they can, after review, work will move the new features to production. So this is the cycle or this is the process. Okay, this is the third type of tenant work we maintain. The fourth type of tenant is the implementation tenant. Okay, why should we use this tenant? So as a you can perform all your development, configuration, testing, all type of 
work in sandbox and this is just like development end right so you can perform all your work here but you have only 7 days time or one week time to complete your work because every week friday your tenant will be refreshed every friday okay so you have seven time to complete your work in sandbox so suppose example 80% of you have started your work today so today wednesday right so you have start your work today and uh, till friday till 23rd you have completed 80% of the work but not completed 100% then what happen if you complete or if you, if you will not move your project then when the next refresh will happen on 23rd your 80% work will be gone okay that's the reason either you have to move your work to some other tenant or you have this in 7 days okay if you are working on sandbox so suppose for example if you are working on some project and it takes 1 month 2 month or 3 month time okay then in that scenario you can work in the implementation tenant so implementation tenant can refresh only by user request if user is requesting or client is requesting then only implementation tenant will be refreshed otherwise work day will not okay if you are working on payroll module if you are working on recruitment module so obviously it will take 2 to 3 months time right so you just work on the implementation tenant and once the implementation tenant your work completed you can change it to or move your project to production so work that's the data right last implementation preview So implementation preview is same like your sandbox preview. So whenever new features will come, work delivers the new feature in sandbox preview and implementation preview also. Okay, why are delivering new features in implementation preview? Suppose example you are working on payroll, right? You are working on payroll module, and the new upgrade new version will come. Okay, version twenty eight. Uh, 10 features is there and version 29 15 features is there so five new features will be there right in version 29 and out of five two feature related to your payroll and you already implementing a payroll for your company okay okay you just check whether the new feature will be impacting your project or not okay this reason was delivering delivering the new feature and box preview and an implementation preview also so five type of tenant work maintain so once customer subscribe with work day the three tenant you will get by default okay once you subscribe with work day this production sandbox and sandbox preview the three tenant a customer will get by default implementation and implementation preview Cost to pay an extra amount, so this actually comes together. So if any implementation tenant, any customer want, they have to pay an extra amount. So there's no restriction. A customer can use any number of implementation tenant. If they want to use five implementation tenant, they can use five. If they want to use one, they can use one. If they want to use ten, they can use ten. Okay. But for every implementation tenant, they have to pay an extra amount to work day. So amount is very minimal. not uh, like a huge amount so and it's not necessary that once a customer is using an implementation tenant then they have to use throughout their life so so for example i am working on payroll module so it will take 3 months time to implement so i can take this tenant for 3 months after 3 months i can release this tenant so i don't pay any extra amount for this so this is type of tenant actually work day maintain this is actually a tenant and every tenant will look like same so let me log in we need a name and password Uh, 
वन मिनिट